First grade teacher Catherine Sebastian asks her students how many dots they see on the screen. You can tell your partner, I know there are seven because. When they're done talking to their partners, students share how they can add up to the total. What did he say? Three, two. Wait, I heard four friends. I want to hear 20 friends. Three, two. Are these the three twos you saw, LJ? This lesson is about more than just addition and subtraction. It's also showing students that there are multiple ways to solve a problem. Everybody, Everybody. Sees, numbers sees numbers in different ways. In different ways. That's awesome. The Oceanside Unified School District adopted a new math curriculum a few years ago. It emphasizes giving students a chance to participate and collaborate. They need an invitation to math. Ruben Medlock works with math teachers throughout the district. He says they're seeing a difference. Because we learn math and we learn to problem solve by talking verbally. How often do you find yourself trying to figure something out and you talk out loud to yourself to figure it out? Talking to each other, that just is a double impact, that you're learning from each other as you are talking through how to solve something. Laura Hogue is the principal of Del Rio STEM Academy. Students there visit a STEM lab every week and get hands-on experience with science and engineering. Students recently worked together to build marshmallow catapults. This opportunity to work with their peers in collaborative groups and get really into designing something and working through challenges and problems that come up as they do that, build some perseverance and grit in that process and are able to feel a little bit more confidence in what they're doing across the subjects. An ongoing positive experience with math is important for students. That's according to Daniel Reinholtz, who studies math education at San Diego State University. Even if they don't understand everything today, if they quit, they're never going to understand it. But if they keep going on the education journey, they're going to have more opportunities to sort of fill in those gaps, fill in those understandings, and have like a deeper concept later on. In this first grade classroom, that journey is just getting started as students solve problems and share ideas on how to do it. Katie Anastas, KPBS News.